broadcast panel, Miss Sheila Salaysay. Sheila, what do you have for us? Yes, happy. Meron ng mga stories sa inyo, pero maya-maya na yan, unti-unti na napupuno. Ito nga, Batangas City Coliseum. This is the second time that Batangas team will be playing on their home court with the debut um, against Pasig. So, uh, maya-maya na yan. Now, let me turn you over to our Coliseum announcer, Tom Pugliano, for the starting lineups. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and again, we are still here at the Batanga City Sports Coliseum, coming to you live by 1PH as we continue our main game for the MPPL 2022 regular season. It's the positive team going up against your Batanga City Embassy Jail. And now, let's call out the starters. First up, for Team Posse! At point guard number four, Ryan Costello! Shooting guard number 13, Jim Munson! At power forward number 16, Jason Milano! Playing center number five, Alvin Bichon! And at small forward number 29, Carlo Costimosa! And coach for Bossy is Paul de la Cruz. And now here are the starters for your Batanga City Embassy Chill! Point guard number 5, Joshua Gonzalez! And for the guard number 22, Levy Hernandez. And for forward number 18, Ralph Olivares. Power forward number 24, Boyd Cruz. And at center number 20, John Ampulato. And coach for Batangas is Cholo Villanueva. Officials for the ball game are Jonah Dallas, Ray Gabriel, and Jackson. The starters here for both squads. Sepanik, Dampasig, Ryan Costello, June Manzo rounding up the backcourt. Alvin Baichong, the man in the middle. Former Batangas player Jason Milano starting this game and Carlos Lastimosa in the forward spots. Para dito sa Pasig, samantalang Olivares, Hernandez, uh, Mark Cruz, King Ambuluto, and Joshua Gonzalez for Coach Cholo Villanueva starting this game. Batangas looking to go 2-0 and in passing, debuting Tito sa 2022 regular season ng Maharli, Maharli Pilipinas Basketball League. Costello called for a foul. Makikita natin Joshua Gonzalez having a size advantage. Let's see how they make use of this mismatch. That's right, tall point guard right here starting for Coach Cholo Villanueva in Joshua Gonzalez. Levy Fernandez airballs the three from straight away. Olivares misses on the recycle. Lastimosa. No advantages there, but still pulls up for the jumper. Does it get the bounce? Batangas. Gonzalez swings it to Mark Cruz. Dribble drive. Hands it off to Hernandez. Ambuluto. Looking for Olivares, and that is an offensive foul, a moving screen called on Joshua Gonzalez. I like the way Joshua Gonzalez is putting himself down low, seeing that he has that advantage. Great call by his coach, Coach Cholo. Score is still 0-0 zero and zero here as we start our ball game. No teams yet on the scoreboard. Carlo Lastimosa finds Costello off the curl. Costello trying to look for Alvin Baichong down low, but a foul will be called inside the paint. Our referees for this ball game, Donald Belnas, Ray Gabriel, Zach Stronquillo, and Rodel Brilla. Happy na papansin ko, Baichong, napakalaking tao, but what's nice about him, he knows how to use his help. He positions himself, talagang locking his man, forcing a foul to be called. 
Lastimosa attempts from the left wing. He's now zero out of two. And by Chong, she's really trying to get those extra possessions para dito kay Coach Bong de la Cruz. And Coach, he mentioned that he knows how to use his body. Hindi lang yun ang kaya niyang gawin. This guy can also hit it from the outside. Oh, he, he, he baits the foul from the thinner guys he's pushing against. Talagang pumapabor sa kanya kada gamit niya ng katawan niya. Melano gets his team on the scoreboard and the first squad up 3-0 right now para sa passing. Hernandez to Mark Cruz. Cruz to Abuluto. Levy Hernandez, one of the guys who have a lot of experience in using that here to lead his team. Gets his team on the board as well. Score is 3-2, to two, still in favor of passing. Levy Hernandez, when he, he's so composed on offense, he knows that he can score. It's just a matter of picking the right time to launch that shot. Here we see... Carlo Lastimosa kicking it out to Jason Milano, who was free on the relocation up top. And here, Levy Hernandez stepping back to create separation from Alvin Baicho. And Carlo Lastimosa just really smooth for the former Araliano University Chief. Olivares, the Matak In passing, thought that they were able to force a turnover. However, a referee's calling a foul at the last moment. Possession will stay with Batangas. If I'm not mistaken, Olivar is one of these players, talaga, a journeyman dito sa MPBL. He's been to so many teams. And still, wherever he goes, highly noticeable talaga that he has talent, he can score, and he can create problems, even if he doesn't score para sa kalaba. Well, this guy can definitely score. Levy Hernandez, back-to-back -back baskets for number 22. 5-2 to two is the score. 7 in 34 remaining dito sa unang yugto ng ating pangalawang laro dito sa Batangas City Coliseum. Jason Milano trying to spin his way to the basket. Misses at that point. Rudy Linganay, early substitution. Linganay goes to Ambuluto. Ambuluto, thinking of three. Mark Cruz gives a speed to Linganay. Olivares, the former UE Red Warrior, hoists it up from three despite the defense in his face. Good defense, but better offense by Ralph Olivares. And this is what you saw. I saw in the first game that Batangas played. Many scorers in this team. And a lot of them can shoot that ball despite having a hand in their face. Coach, you mentioned that Ralph Olivares, he's been a journeyman in this league, been to a lot of teams, played for a lot of squads. But the reason why a lot of coaches like to have them on their teams is because not only can he contribute on the offensive end of the ball, he can also affect the ball on the defensive side because of his leg. So true, so true. A lot of mismatches are created with his presence there. If you don't double-team him, he can score penetrating or shooting from the outside. Ito makikita natin with the hand in his face. It means really nothing for a scorer like Olivares. You know, the height that he had over there against the smaller June Manzo made it easier for him to knock down the shot despite the defense. And here he is once again against Jason Milano this time. Ambuluto trying to hand it off to Linganay. Costello, will he end up with a turnover? Four seconds in the shot clock. But Lastimosa able to get the steal. Floater is short. Olivares trying to get the rebound for his team. But possession will stay with the boys of Coach Bong de la Cruz. Frustration in the side, in, in the face of Carlo Lastimos. Alam mo maganda yung ginawa niya. Hinarang niya yung defender to get a good shot. But we we noticed even from the warm up, wala pa sa 100% condition itong si Carlo Lastimos. And as you all remember, Carlo Lastimos coming from the Manila Stars. This time taking his talents to Coach Bong de la Cruz in passing. King Abuluto finding himself. Wide open underneath. Excellent pass from another lefty, Rudy Linganay. Uh, just a lot of veteran players on both si sides of the team. Veteran big players who know where to position themselves. Open yung ilalim, open right under. And that's where the big men should be running rather than 
spreading themselves to take three-point shots. Jason Milano, two-man game with his fellow big Alvin Baichong. Don't you just love it, coach? When two big men are able to create synergy with themselves inside and outside. Oh, nga. Dun mo makikita na nagko-communicate talaga sila and they're helping each other to be effective. And that's teamwork at its finest. Expect a dogfight really in this game. No look pass by Rudy Linganay. And medyo nag-alangan pa doon si King Ambuluto. But the defensive passing not able to react right away. And Ambuluto getting the score underneath. Walang lamang kasi right now ng big men ng Batangas is that they can outrun Bai Chong. And that's what Bai Chong needs to do is really run back down on defense. But in this situation, he can position himself again baiting a foul against Ambuluto. But before that foul call, Carlos Lastimosa once again attempting another basket. Zero out of three now for the former Manila star. And we all know how Carlos Lastimosa can light it up all of a sudden, Coach. So, Batangas, and I'm sure Coach Solo Villanueva is very worried about the scoring talent and the scoring prowess that Carlos Lastimosa brings to the table. Oh, oh um, siguro papunta pa lang dito from Manila or a few days ago, pinag-aralan na nila, alam na nila, Carlos Lastimosa, we stop him, may pag-asa, manalo ang Batangas. And there is also much burden to be held by Carlo Lastimosa. But before we go to that point, let's go to Ms. Sheila Salaysay with a report from courtside. Sammy, fighting as a team for three to four months, chemistry is not an issue for Padanga City. Though Coach Cholo Villanueva got his core players from his previous team, like Set of Lassa, Dexter Apinan, and Rudy Linganay, with additions of Levy Hernandez and John Apuluto, he thinks they still don't have much talent. Nakaharap na nilang pasig sa ibang liga, pero hindi dapat sila maging kampante. A few of his reminders to his team for tonight's game, player, their brand of basketball, aggressive defense and offense, and work collectively and no one, no one player can win the game. Thank you, Sheila, for that report. And Thank you're you, very right. Uh, these teams are no strangers to each other, having faced each other in various leagues across the country. So really, I'm sure both coaches have been preparing for each other for a quite some time. That's true, no? There's, but despite what the coaches do, it's really how the players react. A uh, game-to-game situation, yan, you want to do your best. You want to show the people you can score, but at the end of the day, you have to win as a team. Play cohesive basketball. And going back to my coach earlier, before we went to Sheila at courtside, uh, much burden is found here on the shoulders of Carlos Lastimosa, especially on the offensive side of the basketball, because passing lost key offensive players in Josa Nimes and Jeric Tech. Yes, that's so true. I, I, you know, any coach would expect Carlos Lastimosa, Lastimosa to score 20 points. But sa kagandahan nito, Milano has stepped up, scoring scoring for his team at the moment. And another interesting storyline to this game, coach, is uh, Dexter Apinan and Cedric Ablaza and Rudy Linganay are former players of Coach Bong de la Cruz here with passing in different leagues. Yes, totoo nga yun. Napakaganda naman, ano? That you play against your former coach. I always had a hard time playing my against my former coach. Parang ang hirap na after you learn so much from that specific coach, and then you go against him using the, the training and the, and the knowledge that you acquired. Parang ang hirap. But totally grateful naman ako sa opportunities na naharap ko. I'm sure ganun din sa kanila. And yun lang talaga yung nakakatuwa. No? As we see there, the three-point field goal story. Three out of four already for Batangas City Embassy Shell. Meanwhile, zero para dito sa passing. Olivares driving into the lane, spinning. Comes up short. Tyrone Chan with the rebound. Yun nga yung kagandahan dito sa mundo ng basketball coach. Napakaliit lang eh. There will be times that you will be playing with former opponents, playing with uh, former uh, adversaries. And that's just really wonderful because you will learn new things from these guys. Oo nga, sa panahon ngayon, ang daming liga. Once uh, uh, MPBL ends, they move to other leagues. And that's the reason why they get the chance to play for and against each other. And ball goes out of bounds right there. But possession will stay dito sa uh, Batangas City Embassy Chill. Meanwhile, substitutions on the floor for both squads. 
MJ De La Virgen, Cedric Ablaza, JC Asuncion, Judrick Baloria in the Jexer Apinan platoon substitution para kay Coach Cholo Villanueva, former coach of the Makati Super Crunch. And now with Batangas, Judrick Baloria misses on his first try from the outside. That is short. Score is 15 to 10, 2 and 34 remaining. Dito sa unang yugto ng ating pangalawang laro dito sa MPBL 2022 regular season. Pushing, and, pushing foul called. And because Batangas is already over the limit, Teo Lucero will be your guest at the charity strike. Itong si uh, Deo Lucero, uh, a jewel, if you would say, found by uh, Boss Buddy Encarnado in Mindanao. This guy is, uh, I believe, only 21 or 20 years old, but has really shown a lot of potential, a lot of talent, and sobrang tapang nitong batang to. I've covered him in different leagues. He is not afraid to mix it up with the grizzled veterans dito sa MPBL. Nakakatuwa naman pag may makita tayong mga talent na ganyan at binibigyan ng pagkakataon mag-perform in this kind of an arena, this kind of platform sa MPBL. Yan ang kaganda ng MPBL talagang liga ng mga tagong magagaling. That's right. And as, you, as we all know, ang MPBL ang liga ng bawat Pilipino. And if, again guys, if you are in the vicinity of the Batanga City Coliseum, please, please, troop to the venue and catch exciting action here between Pasig and your home team, Batanga City Embassy Chill. Also, we would like to say hi to our fans who are watching on Signal Play and on the 1PH channel and on the Facebook page of the Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League. Score is 15 to 11. Almost two minutes remaining. We see here a replay on the previous sequence. June Manzo getting a screen. Galing dito. Sanya Big Man, si Lester Tamayo. Well, he was actually moving, no, but not much contact was created. Call made by the ref. Questionable from the coaches of Pasig, definitely. And questionable also was that shot by Jexter Apinan. Not really his cup of tea to hoist it up from the outside. We know Jexter Apinan to be your point forward, you know, slashing inside, creating plays for his teammates as Jason Milano drives into the lane and fishes for a foul. Nagratal out nga lang yung kanyang tira, but still two shots will be made by Mr. Melan. Napakahira pal palin because he has that ability to move and control his arm. No choice but the foul by Ablasa. Just trickled out at the last moment, no? but uh, excellent body control right there by Jason Melano, able to elude the defense. Makes his first shot. And at this point, uh, we would like to say hi to uh, Coach Willie Chan, uh, who is in charge of our stats. Uh, thank you, uh, Coach Willie, for uh, your service dito sa MPBL. Salamat, Coach. JC Asuncion taking point guard duties para kay Coach Solo Villanueva on this one. Dexter Apinan trying to find De La Virgen. Two-man game with Cedric Ablaza, but the pressure defense of Tyrone Chan and Ryan Costello forcing a turnover, giving a chance for the white shirts to tie this game or get the lead with a three-point shot. Lucero finds Lastimosa way out of the three-point area. Back to Lucero. Lucero driving inside. Tamayo, offensive rebound. That is bothered by Apinan. And Basichel, nagpamadali. De La Virgen. Loses the ball momentarily. It ends up with Ablaza. A foul will be called on Tyrone Chan. I'm actually trying to figure out if it's good defense or terrible offense. But it's, it's the great defense that's making both offensive teams having a difficult time to score and you go know coach that both teams are uh, loaded with a lot of offensive firepower and just the wealth of experience that they have performing at various levels of basketball here in the Philippines and wow 
What a block right there by Jong Baloria. Meet me at top. And just like what I said earlier, coach, this Lucero guy is not afraid of anybody. Not afraid of anybody, and he'll attack at will. Like his attitude. I like his attitude. Pero yun nga, makita natin ang defense ng dalawang koponan on both ends. Napakaganda. Just very intense basketball by both teams. Si Coach Bong de la Cruz is on our floor. May medyo tinatry siya awat. Ni Coach Ogi gumatay right here. But he was complaining that there was a foul. And in our, our replay, it looks like Coach, uh, John Baloria got a little bit of arm. But our referee is deciding to call to not call that foul. And our security stepping in to uh, create some sort of uh, order dito sa ating sahig. Our referee is looking at the replay to decide what calls are to be made. 40 seconds remaining dito sa ating first quarter. Alam mo, Javi, dito sa teritoryo ng Batangas, uh, alam, alam, na, alam lang mga raming teams na when Batangas plays, they play hard and they want to take full control of their home court. Uh, passing is not going to allow that to happen and you can see how aggressive they are and they're playing tough basketball itong passing. Hindi nga natin makikita masyado dito sa laro but sa, sa laro on TV but live nakikita natin yung mga banggaan na napakasarap pa panoorin lalo na pag live tayo manood and just as you were saying that coach we saw on camera John Valoria and Teo Lucero patching things up yes and you know, coach, basketball is a fraternity, no? You know, we were, despite being opponents on the floor, off the court, magkakaibigan tayo lahat, eh. Tama ka dun, Javi. The passing failing to capitalize on that offensive possession. Matangas ending up with a leather once again. And boy, coach, you know, kanina, maingay na yung crowd, and as... It's even noisier now that the home team is playing. Oh, uh, nga, totoo dun. Lucero called for a pushing foul while the man was down. Both, both teams over the limit at this point. 32 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Batangas is up by one possession, 15 to 13. MJ De La Virgen missing on his first free throw. Talks to MJ De La Virgen from the Jose Rizal University program. A known gunner during his college days. And I'm sure Coach Solo Villanueva also looking to him to put on the offense for his squad. Costello. Eight second difference at the shot clock. Passing missing an opportunity right there. John Valoria Nagbamadale finds Asuncion on the left corner. That is short. Asuncion. Taps the ball to Blaza, who finds De La Virgen on the right side. Short once again, six seconds remaining. De La Virgen, second try, makes it this time. Never and giving up on the play, Javi. Alamo Jong Baloria has to be mentioned in several plays, stealing the, off the, the rebound on defense and then tapping that ball on offense to a teammate. And we know John Baloria to be really a great scorer, but in this quarter has been affecting a lot of those 50-50 balls to go onto his side. Jason Milano driving into the lane. Great two-man game between him and his fellow big man Alvin by Chong. He has been the top scorer in this first quarter for passing. However, Ralph Olivares and the rest of the Batanga City Embassy Chill able to pile on the points on their end to hold a five-point advantage to end the first chapter of this second game and adding 2022 Mahardika Filipinas Basketball League. Hold on, we will be right back after these messages.
are back here dito sa Batanga City Coliseum covering the second game of the 2022 regular season of the Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League. My name is Javi Palanya together with Coach JV Gayoso and Mishira Salaysay working the sidelines. We are bringing you the action dito. Pasig versus Batangas City Embassy Chill. Batangas holding a five-point advantage at the start of our second period. Happy here we have some stats, no field goal percentage, four of 19 to Pasig, Batangas 7 of 20. Some free throws natin, 5 of 8. Lamang ang Pasig, 1 of 1, 50% lang para sa Batangas. Oh, physical play. Oh, we saw their Jexer Apinan trying to drive to the basket. And uh, from my vantage point, there seemed to be an extension of the arm para dito kay Apinan, which forced uh, Costello to go down onto the floor. However, our referee is deciding to call a blocking foul on Ryan Costello. Well, Costello actually also hit the man with the ball. If he just stood in front of Apinan, maybe he would have gotten a favorable call from the refs. Turnover here, forced by Pasig. Carlos Lastimosa will settle down his troops. Rescreened by Tyrone Chan. There is a blitz by Batangas. Chan finds Costello on the corner to Manzo. Milano, he hit a three from earlier. Manzo looking at the shot clock. Four seconds left. Three, two. That floater is short. And then, you know, June Manzo is known for these floaters. Yes. But great defense, great interior defense by Batangas. Nobody's allowed to penetrate for passing, and they're really shutting down those open spaces inside. And Dexter Apinan, a little Carson cross right there, going to his strong side and finishing despite the contact. Now has a chance for an end one opportunity. You know, coach. It really uh, puzzles me to this day. I've covered Jexer up in, an, uh, in numerous games. But it really puzzles me that he's still able to get his baskets despite everybody knowing that he's always going to go left. Go, gonna go left. But it's, he's shifty. Eh? The way he dribbles the ball, it's unpredictable. You're really forced to move with what he gives you. And then he just tricks you by going left when you least expect it. Even if you do expect that lefty to come. And despite uh, his lean frame coach, he's able to absorb contact and finish despite that. Oh, nga, yan ang ano, nadadala na ng experience. Baloria, nahirapan dun sa corner. Dela Virgen is able to save it. JC Asuncion, that is short. Baloria able to come up with the offensive rebound with the shot clock winding down. And Coach Mong de la Cruz has seen enough. This is the biggest lead that pa that Bataka City Embassy Chill has had in this game. And this is just smart basketball by a guy who moves, constantly moves without the ball. He understands he has to rebound. Jong Baloria has been doing this time and time again for many years. Jong Baloria able to put his squad ahead by 9 points, 22 to 13. We will be right back, MPBBL fans. We will be right back.
And we are back here dito sa Batangas City Coliseum as you see Coach Kenneth Doremdes and the Destroyer, Rudy Destrito, part of the Brain Trust itong Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League. And just a lot of people trooping into the venue watching their home team, the Batangas City Embassy Chill, who are now up by 9 points, 22 to 13. Ryan Costello trying to change that, but Apinan coloring the defensive rebound. Cedric Ablaza once again free underneath. Similar play this time, it was De La Virgen to Ablaza. Maganda no, makikita natin ang big men tumatakbo sa loob. Ang Boluto did that earlier when he was in. But time and time again, inuunahan nila ang big men ng passing. And Carla Simosa able to hit his first three-point shot. But we now turn you over back to Mishila Salaysay for a courtside update. Yes, losing some key players, Jeric Tang and Josa Nimes. Coach Bong De La Cruz realizes the need for adjustments. Kaya naman dinagdag sa kanilang rosters na Carlo Lastimosa, June Manso. But during the huddle, Coach Bong mentioned that their problems are rebound and backs up. Kaya naman they need to focus on helping each other out when it comes to defense. And don't forget that sharing is caring. Back to you. Thank you for that report, Sheila. That's Thank right. You, Sheila. Uh, sharing is caring. Uh, and we see here the assist numbers between both teams. Six assists between for Batanga City Embassy Chill and just two for Pasig. So really, uh, the lack of ball movements here, very evident. But Ryan Costello proving me wrong on that point. Kicking it out to Jason Milano, who hits his second team pointer of the ball game. Sharing is caring. 11 points for Milano. The more you give, the more you receive. And that's the nice thing about passing that ball. But John Beloria just told me to shut up and call his game. Well, John Beloria hasn't really been doing well on the scoring end, but he has been rebounding well para dito kay Coach Solo Villanueva, leading his team with four boards. Uh, she hear the three-point field goal story between two teams. Four out of ten para dito sa Batangas and two out of eight for Pasig. Yung makita, John Baloria having the unenviable task to guard Carlo Lastimosa. Tiniraan siya ng tres earlier ni Carlo, bumawi siya. Now, on defense, he played great defense. Makikita natin. Oh, that's... Milano taking the three. And coach, as you were saying, itong si Baloria, unenviable task of guarding yes. ito si Carlo Lastimosa. But still able also, let's not forget, this guy is also a very reliable gunner on the offensive end. Yes, and he's, he's doing a lot of things. Tapping the ball to his teammate, cutting, moving without the ball, getting second chances for his team, and playing tough, gritty, face-to-face -face defense against a known scorer in Lastimosa. So grab it, the great magnitude of the impact that John Baloria brings to his squad, not just on offense, not just on defense, but also the intangibles that you don't see on the box scores. Ablaza. Oh! Called for steps right there. I remember doing that back in the day, and I'd always tell the ref, ref, hindi ko naman sinasadya. I mean, once in a while, give me a break. Bench points right here, 12 to 1 in favor of Batanga City Embassy Chill. And that just explains to you the depth and the chemistry also that Batangas has over passing. And napakaganda dito for Coach Solo is that he relies on so many players to maintain a high level of basketball play and with two or three units that he can put in sa ball game. Napakasarap maging coach ng ganyang klaseng team. At yan nga, Coach, eh, when you play that brand of basketball, pressure defense, high octane offense, you really need your players to give 100% every time. That is why you need to have depth at your disposal dun sa roster mo. Yes, that's so true, Avi. Milano trying to post up Apinan. Blocked right there. Possession will stay with the white shirts. And so far, Jason Milano, the only bright spot, especially in offense here para dito sa Pasig. He has 11 points, but the next guy backing him up is Alvin Baichong and Carlo Lassimosa of three apiece. Jexter Apinan, two on one break. No problem right there for the former JRU Heavy Bomber. Well, you pointed out Milano. Milano is very tough to guard. And the matchups, the mismatches that he creates 
it's very tough to adjust because he's tall, he's quick, he can dribble, he can take the three. So it's really tough to match up, and that's the reason why he sticks out like a sore thumb, doing great things for passing. Alvin Baichong finding himself open from the outside, but before that, we see here this replay on that two-on-one break. Ryan Costello trying to fly high. It prevents that opportunity, but Jexer Abinan, no problem. And here, Alvin Baichong up fake, putting the ball on the floor, getting the end one opportunity. By Chong scoring, no, despite being fouled hard. But uh, sadly to say, I wanted to point out the reason why Apinan can run because he knows Bai Chong can't catch him, and that's why by, uh, uh, Apinan is really taking advantage of his quickness against Bai Chong. I'm sure you know both coaches really playing the chess game and finding out how to solve or how to take advantage of these matchups that they have on the floor with regards to their roster makeup. Battle for possession right there, but our referees pointing possession to the blue shirts. Batanga City Embassy chill in the light and blue thread. Samantalang itong Pasig in white, blue, and black. Apinan trying to get an interior pass to Mark Cruz, but Pasig ending up with a steal. Lucero. Fearlessly driving to the hole and nobody stopping him at the last moment. Oh, nga, mga teammates actually picked each other off, allowing Lucero for that easy basket. Mark Cruz airballing that three pointer. That's not usually the shot that Coach Solo would like to see Mark Cruz taking. Yeah, that's true. Bihira naman siya mag airball ng ganun. Ito makikita natin Lucero going straight to the basket. Suddenly, bumukas ang pito. Some stats here 25 rebounds compared to 15 in favor of Batangas. Uh, turnovers, siyam na sa Batangas. Uh, three point, uh, points of turnovers, six points sa lamang, ang pasig. And Coach, uh, Batangas, uh, despite having the five-point lead, already has 10 turnovers, but Pasig turning it over on this opportunity and another fast-break opportunity for Batangas, and they capitalize once again. Mark Cruz punctuate punctualizing that one. You know, Javi, papakita ko lang. Lucero, being a nice kid that he is from the outskirts of Mindoro, you were mentioning, he made an error and he kept apologizing to everyone. Errors will make you become a better player. Embrace it. Just do better later on. One apology. Once you make that one apology, apology that's enough. No need to apologize to the world. The shot clock trickling down. Carlos Lastimosa finally gets on the board right here for Pasi. Lastimosa back to back baskets for the former CSB Blazer. And just like that, the lead is down to three. 31 to 28, courtesy of back to back baskets by Carlo Lastimosa. Great outlet pass by Lucero. Just enough for Carlo to get that ball. Here we see his penetration. Carlo Lastimosa in step back. Two. No problem right there as the shot clock was winding down. And Carlo Lastimosa beginning to get into the groove right here. Okay, mga We will be back. The score is 31 to 28. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, MPBL na, MPBL na, yan ang liga ng bawat We are back here at the Batangas City Coliseum. As you see here, one of the Semirad brothers 
uh, supporting itong uh, Basic team. They are going up against the home team, the Batangas City Embassy Chill, playing in front of their home crowd here. They are still up 31 to 28 at the reception of action. Levi Hernandez driving baseline, meeting Jason Ballesteros. But an offensive foul is called instant impact right away. Para dito kay Jason Ballesteros. Levi Hernandez really asking why that call was made. I would have just let, it, let that go. Lucero, wow, how fast is this guy? Carlos Lastimosa, short on that three-point try, trying to catch that basketball as it sails out of bounds. But the ball will go back to Coach Solo Villanueva and his boys. Two minutes and 29 seconds remaining. Here in the second quarter, Joshua Gonzalez back at the controls. Our referees blowing the whistle. Looks like there is some uh, extra curricular action away from the ball. It Coach Solo Villanueva is just furious right now, shouting at referee Bernas. I wonder what the call will be here. I'm trying to check out the action for game to stop. And no call made. It must be explained so that the, our viewers as well would understand. And we heard it from our Coliseum marker, Top Juliano. A technical foul was called. Not on Coach Cholo Villanueva, but on his assistant coach, his former teammate in La Salle, Coach J.R. Aquino, for using profane language. And for that, Carlo Lastimosa will head to the line for the technical free throw. Ooh, very uncharacteristic of Mr. Lastimosa to miss from the line. Usually, a pretty good free throw shooter itong si Carlo. A missed opportunity right there for passing to trim down this three-point advantage. Gonzalez to Hernandez. Back to Gonzalez. 2 3 zone here by Pasig. Hernandez driving once again against Jason Ballesteros. Just really fearless. Going up against the 6 7 beat pole. On the other end, it was an offensive foul, but this time a defensive foul called on Ballesteros. Nice defense now being implemented by Pasig. It's like it's an extension of a zone, and then everybody just clogs the middle, forcing Batangas to stop shooting from the outside and finding a way to penetrate. This time, Ballesteros has called for a foul. Hernandez using his experience to get that call. And a split at the line for Levy Hernandez. Four-point lead para dito sa Batangas. 32 to 28 is the score. Two minutes. Milano up top. Lucero trying to hop step into the middle. The possession will stay with passing. Well, Milano had an attempt. I don't know why he hesitated. And to think, Coach, he's already uh, made two shots from that area. You would think that he would not hesitate to hit that shot. And uh, Pasig will take this time out. We will be right back, ladies and gentlemen.
back again here dito sa Batanga City Coliseum for the 2022 regular season of the Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League. This is the second game of our doubleheader. Pasig going up against Batanga City Embassy Chill in our first game. Makati Manalaking Pin ending up victorious with their first victory over the Mindoro Tams. Batangas on the run here. They don't have the numbers. Turnover story 13 to 4. But Batangas still up by four points. Offensive rebound. And possession stays with the light blue shirts. They should check that ring. A, a lot of scorers made an attempt and missed. Some close point blank range, some from the outside, and they just missed. It coach not just in this game, even in the first game. Yes. A botch opportunity right there for Batangas City. And double black eye for them because a foul was called on Levy Hernandez. That is their third team foul. Alam mo, happy may mga gabi talaga na ganun eh. Some nights, you just throw that ball, it goes in. And some nights, easy baskets, easy layups. Tutok barok na, miss pa din. Alam naman natin yung uh, sinasabi ng mga tao, bilog ang bola. It can always go either way as Simosa ends up with another basket. Nine points in the game. Gonzalez nagtitimon dito para sa Batangas. Olivares on the left wing. Drives middle. But is met by Ballesteros at top. And that is one of the specialties of the house for Mr. Ballesteros. Shot blocking. Ballesteros deserves this a replay on that great block. But you see here that basket by Lastimosa leaning in for that banker. But Ballesteros blocking that shot. Of Ralph Olivares to force a possession on their side. Manzo at the controls. High screen and roll action. Ambuluto switches on him. Crossover by June. Half spin, turnaround jumper is good. And we are now tied, ladies and gentlemen, at 32 apiece. 32 apiece. Great move there, committing the defender to leave and react to your offense. He spins around and scores. Levy Hernandez missing once again. Lucero is pushing the pace. They don't have numbers, but he will take it anyway. No problem by Deo Lucero. And he sticks his tongue out after the shot. Grabe talaga yung spunk nitong bata na to. Sobrang tapang. Walang takot. Another turnover here forced by Pasig. Carlo Lastimosa. Dipsy dude just misses right there. But Lucero ending up with the offensive rebound, but time has expired Dito sa ating first half. Lucero makes the shot, goes back down on defense, stops the ball to his teammate, and goes for an offensive rebound. Nawalan lang ng oras for a second chance opportunity. Great hustle by Lucero. And you see here, Carlo Lastimosa kicking it out to Jason Milano, who has really been Fiery on offense para dito kay Coach Bong de la Cruz. 30 points, 2 rebounds, and 2 assists for the former Batanga City player. And Coach, not only has been uh, the turnovers piling on para dito sa Batangas, it has also been the rebounds uh, that have been going their way. But they are down at this point, 32 to 34. Pasig has found a way to score against Batangas, and they're taking advantage of that. Of, of that opportunity but before I continue let's go to Sheila with Milano yes thank you coach JV kasama ko kanito from uh, passing Jason Milano Jason natapos yung first half na medyo down ng team nyo pero going to the um, tapos yung second quarter nakabawi kayo at yun lumang pa anong nangyari uh, siguro yung defense namin na maganda yung naging defense namin na stop namin na maganda uh, siguro yung communication rin namin nandun uh, pa paano niyo masusustain to going to the second quarter? Uh, second half? Ano, ano? Paano masusustain? Ah, siguro yung energy namin, eh, triple pa namin yung energy namin, yung defense namin, yung nagsasalita kami sa loob. Ayun, ah, tuloy lang namin para masustain namin tong lamang namin. Maraming maraming salamat, Jason Melano from Passing, third and fourth quarter sa pagpabalik ng Okay Ben Harlika, Pilipinas Basketball League 2022.
dito sa Batangas City Coliseum kaya pwede na nanonood ng OK Bet Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League 2022 at katabi ko ngayon ang assistant coach mula sa Batangas City Embassy Chile assistant coach Dino Ponce and really coach good evening um, you were leading before uh, the first half ends pero ngayon medyo uh, down ng team nyo ano ba yung naging nangyari well probably because uh, this is only the second game after a long while no so Baka medyo rusty, but uh, it's not an excuse, no? So, syempre, home court advantage namin. So, yung kalaban namin, most likely, kailangan i-double lang effort nila, no? And, ganun na nga nangyari. Uh, we tend to uh, turn over the ball left and right. So, ganun na nga, nakahabol sila. No? Turnover points, medyo maganda yung turnover points nila. I will make sure na kayo naman ang makakabawi going to the third and fourth quarter. Well, as I said, home court namin to, we don't want to... Uh, uh, ayaw naman namin ma ano yung mga fans namin no? na pumunta sila dito para supportahan kami so syempre kailangan ibalik namin yung uh, ibalik namin yung magandang laro para sa kanila no? sayang naman Nabanggit mo nga coach na nandito yung fans so meron ka bang mensahe para sa kanila? Well uh, it's not the end of the game yet so second half tingnan natin ang promise ng namin kami sa Batangas Embassy Chill eh, gagawin namin ng lahat na makakaya namin para manalo Salamat po Maraming salamat and good luck, assistant coach Dino Ponce and Rile. Third and fourth quarter between Batangas City, Embassy Chill, and of course, Pasig sa pagbabalik ng OK Bet and PBL 2022.
Nagbabalik po tayo dito mga kaibigan sa Batangas City Coliseum in the beautiful province of Batangas. Here in the Ogbed Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League 2022 regular season presented by Extreme One Stop Shop Blinds. And you're looking at our halftime highlights. Jason Milano, the bright spot right here for passing. Really driving inside, hitting from the outside, doing it all on the offensive end. And Ralph Olivares able to hit his stride from Rainbow Country as well. Jexter Apinan also trying to do his part in getting his team up. However, they are down by two points because of this guy. He caught fire towards the latter end of the second quarter. Alam mo, Carlo Lastimosa, alam mo, maaasahan talaga. But Milano just sticks it in against Batangas time and time again. And this guy, Lucero, has just been a needle in Batangas' back. No? Ito, makikita natin ang stats, Javi. 39%. Uh, 33% for Pasig compared to 35% sa ano, Batangas still Pasig being up. The turnovers, makikita natin 14 for Batangas and this is one thing I wanted to point out because despite the inside points and everything else just being similar, no, it's the turnovers that we see that really change, ma makes a big uh, uh, problem dito sa Batangas kasi nakaka-score 10 points ang points of turnovers para sa Pasig. And this is one thing that's working for them despite being down in the rebounding department. They are minus 11, talking about passing. And here are your leading scorers at the half. Jason Milano with 11, Carlo Lastimosa with 9, Alvin Baichong with 6, and Deo Lucero with 5 sa kabilang panig naman. Very balanced scoring on for Batanga City Embassy Chill. Levy Hernandez and Ralph Olivares leading them with 6, John Baloria with 5, and Jexter Abinan with 4. Jong Baloria, alam natin nakakapag-score itong taong to but tatatlo pa lang ang kanyang attempt and he has to actually take the cuts for his team. I know he plays unselfish basketball but if they need points, he needs to start scoring for his team. And you know coach, uh, with, you, with a team that really sticks a lot to its system, pagdating ng mga ganitong digdikan na laro you really need your best offensive players take the cudgels, you know, take control and demand the basketball so he can make plays for your squad. Oo, oh, oh, totoo yun. Ang kagandaan lang kay Jong Baloria yan, he has the task to really defend it on si Carlo Lastimosa and he's doing other things like going for offensive rebounds or tapping the ball, but I, I'd like to see him more on the scoring side of it all dito sa second half. Joshua Gonzalez passing at the last moment to Mark Cruz. Levy Hernandez gets a last minute screen from Mark, misses on the jumper. Basic successful defensive possession on their first. Lucero gives it to Manzo. Manzo calls out the horns play. Ballesteros in Milano, the big man para dito sa Basic. And it's Lastimosa, Lucero on the wings, and Manzo at the point for Basic. Para naman dito sa Batangas City, it's Hernandez, Gonzalez, Abuluto, Olivares, and Mark Cruz, the man in the middle for Coach Cholo Villanueva. Smart move by Manso using his quickness against Abuluto. Talagang iiwanan ka niyan po. He's got great ability when it comes to his dribble, dribble drive moves, itong si Manso. And you can notice, Coach, uh, with the lineup uh, that Coach Bong de la Cruz has, Maraming talagang instances during the game na gumagamit siya ng two-point guard setup. No? Kasi ang dami niyang guardia sa kanyang roster. Ang dami siyang guardia and he has bigs who are not quick. And Batangas has quick big men and that's why he has to just, you know, try to take an advantage using the smaller guys that he has. Levy Hernandez ending up with the offensive rebound. Rattles out. But possession will still stay with Batangas City. And you can see, Coach, na talagang uh, medyo off-rhythm pa rin yung opensa nitong Batangas City. Well, they a big adjustment for Batangas. They lost one player who actually took control of the offense. This time, Oliver is making an attempt. Nawala ang kanilang player, ang best player at that, nung pre yung first game nila. He no longer plays for Batangas. He's now playing for another team. This time, everybody has to adjust and somebody has to step up. And we all know that there are a lot of players on this Batanga squad that can really step up. It's just a matter 
of really doing it during this game. Oo nga, alam mo, yan ang mahirap pag marami kasing magagaling. Nagkakahiyaan pa. Nagkakahiyaan. And, and that's one thing they need to throw away because that's respect. Throw away here, take control, and if you do well, it's respect. You gain the respect. And the running game has been favoring passing really well, especially during the latter part of that second quarter. And in that instance, Carlo Lastimosa finishing once again. And here is another opportunity back there again, but misses on that try. Just a gimme right there for Carlo Lastimosa. Yun nga, nababanggit natin. There's something wrong with that ring. That side of our basket, ang hirap makashoot. May, may tumataping itong duwende. <laughs> <laughs> Kailangan na talaga ipatingin niya mamaya. Kaya ipabless siguro, no, oh. Coach? June Mando, thinking three, hesitates. Hoist up that floater, another miss. Ballesteros with the offensive rebound, just really towering over everybody. That 6-7 frame. Two efforts there by Ballesteros, allowing them to have second chance opportunities. Good game for the big guy attacking the boards. And I think this is also one of the adjustments adjustments that uh, Coach Bong de la Cruz wanted from his team at the half. That's why he had Jason Ballesteros starting this third quarter as he wants his team to make an effort more on the rebounding end because alam niya na nakakatakbo naman sila so to have more opportunities on the break you have to have more defensive rebounds to finish your defensive possessions kailangan talaga pero ngayon in both ends ano, lahat attacking the boards you know we see now the small guys of, of Pasig running the fast break and before I, I, I end what I say turnover muna tayo kay Sheila Coach JV, thank you so much. Well, the turnovers committed by Batangas takes a toll on their performance. Though they are making stops, have any coach Cholo Villanueva. What are their adjustments? Pangit niya, they have to tighten their offense, go away from stopping plays, and execute their game plans. Balik sa inyo. Thank you, Sheila. Thank you for that report, Sheila Salaysay. And uh, yun nga, Coach Cholo Villanueva mentioned that they have to do better on their offensive sets. No? Sinabi na namin ni Coach JV kanina na someone has to step up and be the leader for their team. Oh, very tentative sila. Matuloy ko lang yung sinasabi ko. Ang pasig ngayon, yung small guys are running the fast break. Habang earlier, the big men of Batangas were running the break. Ito mga kita lang, Levy Hernandez, all net. Three-point shot right there for Levy Hernandez. That brings his total up to nine points. Lucero on the baseline. Great drop pass to Jason Milano. This guy Lucero playing a, playing like a veteran. And I like the way he pretends to shoot. Many would fake. He's not faking. He just makes those moves, making you think that he's going to take the shot, getting you off your feet. And he dishes off to his open teammate. Saya lang, hindi lang na itapos. I told you, don't usually see that from a 21 year old yeah. at this level, at especially. Yeah, you're brought here and you're playing at this kind of a scenario. You know, napakagandang panoorin. And to think, Coach, na, you know, he came from the province, he's just 21 years old. I don't think he's played in front of a crowd like this. Yeah. And ngayon na he is thrust into this kind of league at this level, playing against grizzled veterans who have seen a lot of basketball here in the Philippines. It's just really amazing. And I think his confidence level is way up because he's being used, he's being given the go signal, highly supported by team management. Napakaganda. Napakaganda. And I, saw, I just noticed na si Boss Badi Encarnado sa corner cheering. His team on, at natutuwa siya sa kilos ni Lucero. Always the very supportive uh, team owner itong si Boss Buddy Encarnado. Levy Hernandez trying to get into the lane. But he is stopped by the defense of Pasig. Olivares, 3-4-3. Three three. That is long. Ambuluto. Able to get the offensive rebound. Dipsy do up and in. Para dito kay John Abduluto. In a scary situation in that possession, it's just a one-man show by a person who has the ball. Unlike sa, sa passing, they're rotating that ball looking for an opportunity to score. Having said that, Carlo Lastimosa takes a shot without passing the ball. But I've let Carlo Lastimosa do that all night. 
Well, you know, if you're Coach Bon de la Cruz and you have a talent like Carlo Lastimosa, especially he's been hitting his baskets uh -oh. these past few possessions, maybe you give him a pass on shots like that. Oh, oh toto. You see here the replay uh, on John Abolutos. Leaner of a shot against the defense of Batangas, of uh, Basig rather. Uh, Jun Manzo setting up the table para dito sa Basig. Gets a screen from Chan. Passes to Milano on the other end. Lucero up fake. Gets his defender up in the air but misses. Tyrone Chan is there for the cleanup but doesn't get into the basket. Excellent pass right there by Ralph Olivares to John Ambuluto rewarding his big man for running the floor. And that's how we started the first quarter with the big men running to outrun those slower big men of passing Ambuluto back to what he was doing well in the first quarter. And coach, just the degree of difficulty on that pass by Ralph Olivares. Let's see that once again. You saw there was a defender. There was Tyrone Chan trying to go for that pass. Usually, you know, if I was the, the one making the pass, puro bounce pass ang iba ba to? That was a really hard chest pass to make. Hard chest pass to a good receiver. Napakaganda tignan. Great pass and great hands by Olivares and Ambuluto, respectively. Meanwhile, substitutions here on the floor. MJ De La Virgen goes in for Joshua Gonzalez. More firepower here for Coach Tola Villanueva. Sorry, Javi, I just wanted to point out Batanga should do that more often, run. Ooh! Nahuli doon. Itong si Tyrone Chan, an extension of the forearm. That really pushed MJ De La Virgen to the sidelines. Tyrone Chan, momentum yun eh. I mean, the big guy, you know, you can give, it, give him the effort, give it to him that he has that effort. It's just that he will have to really extend his arm to get his, himself balanced. De La Virgen sees the parting of the defense but misses a point blank layup. Carlos Simosa. Bringing up the ball for Batangas. Receives a screen from Chan. Chan pops out. Swings it to the corner to Costello. Short. Tamayo is there for the offensive rebound. But the interior defense of Batangas just preventing Basic from getting another basket. Baloria. You know, John Baloria, short as he is, great timing on the block. But sometimes you have to learn, even if you get the offensive rebound, doesn't mean you need to put it back up, especially when you have two defenders. But sadly for Ta Tamayo, I believe he was napalpal siya at hindi niya naitapos ang kanyang attempt. Uh, that's very right, Coach. You know, not even, uh, even if you get the offensive rebound, you have to recognize the situation kung nandun ba yung depensa to block you or are you free to take the shot? Tamayo. And sometimes it would help also to bring it back out because if they run out on defense to the person you pass to, another pass can be made down to you for a better shot up opportunity or shot attempt. Meanwhile, Jexter Apinan. All here on that first shot. And the home crowd just not liking it. So let's see if uh, Mr. Apinan can um, make do on his second free throw. One out of two from the line, a split for Jexter. Uh, you wouldn't expect him to do that, but yun nga, sabi ko nga, binabanggit mo, bilog ang bola. Turnover situation, but hanggang 16 turnovers. And points of turnovers, makikita natin 12 na para sa Pasig. Ganda, nakakapagcapitalize ang Pasig sa turnovers ng Batangas. Another missed floater right there for June Manzo. The lucky bounce is just not going the way of the white shirts. Baloria finds a Blaza. Ooh! And the crowd just goes wild. Excellent passing right there by Batanga City coach. Three oh, man yeah. touching the ball. Which is what I was pointing to, no? Ngayon, pumapasa na sila, courtesy of John Baloria. 10 0 run by Batangas. You know, nip and tuck affair right here. But momentum seems to be swinging on the side of the home team because they are getting the crowd into it. John Baloria starting the action right there, finding Cedric Ablaza. Great hands and dropping it off at the last minute to Cedric Ablaza. 
suddenly makikita mo may extra pass and extra pass makes it tougher for a defensive team to defend. Because yung rotation coach ng depensa, no? just when you think that the offensive player will take the shot, eh, di pa pasa niya last minute. Eh, ma-off timing na talaga ang depensa niyan. Totally different offense is what we see right now no? from uh, Batangas. Now, meanwhile, Pasig uh, gets the ball back here. Three-quarter court uh, pressure defense being shown here by Batangas City. Manzo to Tyrone Chan against Ochea. Ochea seeing his first action of the game. Former Adamson Falcon. June Manzo with the shot clock winding down. Misses from straight away. De La Virgen against Costello. Gets a speed from Apinan. Cedric Plaza is free from three. That is money! After making a great pass to Jexter Apinan, he makes a three-pointer. Lead is up to four for Batanga City, 45 to 41. That's the three minutes remaining in our third quarter. Yan ang nagagawa ng ball rotation, uh, just reacting to the defense. If you constantly pass that ball, eventually the defense will stop de defending. And there we see Ablaza all alone for that three-point shot. Ito, makikita natin. Kuminto na ang defensa. Ablaza all alone for the three. And because uh, Batanga City is playing a relatively smaller lineup compared to Pasig, uh, Cedric Ablaza or maybe Jexter Apinan is at the five spot. Jason Balesteros was stuck inside and could not catch up to challenge the shot of Cedric Ablaza. Slower rotating man. Tama ka dun, Javi. And then I expect the Tong Batangas to run the fast break once they get the defensive rebound. Kasi alam nila, Ballesteros is not a quick man. And they were successful doing that earlier. So up to this point, very interesting for it how both coaches, Coach Paul de la Cruz and Coach Solo Villanueva, play the matchup game because, you know, different setups of rosters that they have. Itong Pasig, they have quick guards, but they have tall guys who, you know, are not really as fast as the bigs in Itong Batanga City. Nabanggit mo nga eh, chess game eh. Diba? Dumidiscarte ang mga coaches depende sa mga taong nasa loob. And you don't really know who's taking full control because it's the reaction of the players that actually dictate the tempo of the game. Napakagandang tignan. Well, it has been a game of spurts. It has been a game of runs. No team wanting to give an inch. You know, both teams have a lot of veteran players. And, you know, you pride the mga taong to just to not give up as De La Virgen is blocked right there by Ballesteros. Ballesteros playing great defense tonight. Talaga making his tall presence felt. De La Virgen trying to redeem himself. But Ballesteros colors that rebound. Ooh! I understand the motion. Ballesteros made the motion to run and his elbow connected sa mukha ni John Baloria. Inadvertent elbow. I, yeah. I'm sure. I, I don't think there was an intention to hurt the man there, coach. We see the replay right here. Kasi sumundot. Great defense. He never stops on the play. It's just that trying to run after it. You know, yeah, the natural motion to uh, to run. Talagang uh, you're gonna swing your arm back. But uh, dito kasi pag sa FIBA rules ang ginagamit natin. Uh, you don't really judge the intention, but you judge the action, oh, coach. I don't think Ballester is even new. Or probably he did know, but he knew it was not something he intended to do. But uh, until now, John Baloria is still shaking up and sitting down there on our baseline. Masakit <laughs> Masakit yan. Oh, luha ka talaga yan. Putok ang ilong eh. Luha ka talaga niyan. Shocks, coach. Have you, have you uh, experienced this in your playing days? Well, Getting hit on the, el on the nose by an elbow? No, I I'm happy to still have <laughs> my nose. And the so Lord... you've never had, you never had to wear a, a, a face mask no. for a broken nose? Wala pa, hindi pa uso face mask nung araw sa amin. Ano lang, mga tape, loco plus lang, band-aid yun lang ang mga meron. Tahe, yes. Eyes, my lips, yes, but never sa nose. 
and uh, Coach Cholo Villanueva still arguing with our referees. And it's like John, John Balor was doing great. He was really helping his team. When he entered, passing started. The passing started and unselfish play led to the, this lead that they have. So right now, a substitution, a mandatory substitution has to be made for Jong Baloria. But up to now, uh, Coach Solo Villanueva is still not plucking anyone from his bench. Yeah, and he's really upset because I, I think he felt, I think Coach uh, Cholo feels that maybe, maybe t uh, second motion or, you know, technical should, should have been called. But uh, our referee is deciding not to call an unsportsmanlike foul. But I think it was just only an offensive foul, ang tinawag. That's why uh, possession will swing back to Batangas City. And uh, finally, good shot of Villanueva. Minunod si Ralph Olivares to replace the beleaguer, John Baloria. What a luxury, no? Nawala si John Baloria, pumas naman si Olivares. Olivares Oy. takes a dribble momentarily to get into rhythm. The referee's deciding not to call a foul, but possession swings back swiftly. Dito sa Batanga City, De La Virgen finds Apinan at the top of the key. That is money for Dexter Apinan. Dexter Apinan stepping into the shot. Not really the best looking shot, but you know, if it goes into the basket, we'll take it. Oh, uh, and after getting an air ball sa kanyang free throw, wala na. Absuelto na siya with this three. Great job right there by MJ De La Virgen to draw the defense of Ryan Costello. And again, because the bigs of Pasig are wandering inside, they did not catch De Dexter Apinan. Don't go away, mga kaibigan. Score is 42 to 48. Timeout muna tayo. In 5, 3-point shot just as we went into that time out giving his team a 6-point advantage at this point of the match 135 remaining dito sa third quarter we are back here the Augment Mario Capilipinas Basketball League 2022 regular season presented by Extreme One Stop Shop Appliances happy pala niyo po kasama si Coach JB Gayoso and Ms. Sheila Salaysay on the sidelines alam mo Javi 15 assists ngayon sa Batangas uh, habang walo pa lang sa Pasig and that's the reason why nakahabol at lumamang itong Batangas extra steps stepping on the line for Carla Lastimosa and we will turn you over to Ms. Sheila Salaysay for a courtside update Yes, um, from the previous incident involving John Valoria, he suffered a broken nose. Well, the bleeding already stopped, pero um, ang sabi ng uh, kanilang TV or um, team doctor, it is uncertain na makabalik pa siya to play for tonight's game. Javi and Coach JV? Uh, thank you for that report, Sheila. Wow. And uh, well, that's very sad news that we heard for John Valoria. A uh, broken nose. And Coach, you know that uh, baka di na nga siya makabalik, but... MJ De La Virgen, De La Virgen 
just bringing this crowd alive once again with that corner three-point shot. I know. Uh, nice reporting there, Sheila, but it's sad reporting as well, knowing that Zong Baloria is hurt. You know, ang hirap bumalik sa laro. Turnover caused by Batangas and scoring, but it's sad to, it's tough to enter pag bas, ano, bali ang ilong natin, ano, because tendency, dumudugo ka sa, sa loob ng bibig mo. Here we see the three-point shot of them. MJ De La Virgen, the one hitting that three-point shot. And nobody home para dito sa Pasig. The crowd just really getting into play here and affecting the morale nitong Pasig. Getting those turnovers in Batangas City just able to capitalize. Three-point shot by MJ De La Virgen and that three-point play opportunity made right by Cedric Ablaza. Full court pressure now being applied by Batangas. And they have the right manpower to do it because everybody has quick feet, active hands, dito sa Batangas. And I'm sure Coach Solo Villanueva really constructed his roster very well to his liking. Ayon sa brand ng basketball na gusto niyang laruin. Jason Milano driving inside, finding Deo Lucero. But Tyrone Chan getting the offensive rebound misses as well. Three attempts by passing, going for naught. Ten seconds left in this third quarter. Lucero giving up the foul against De La Virgen. Both teams now in the penalty. Well, Lucero has to understand you cannot prevent an offensive player you just have to back up you can't just stop and allow him to bump you time and time again bench scoring right now 29 points from Batangas 7 from Pasig at lagi natin nabanggit no, even nung umpisa ang bench scoring ng Batangas talaga mataas because nga deep bench itong Batangas team MJ De La Virgen makes good on his free throw. 6.2 seconds remaining in our third quarter. Ken Pasig write the final sentence of this third chapter. Milano trying to go inside, but he just doesn't have enough time. Even if that basket went in, it wouldn't have counted. Matanga City Embassy Chill making a run for it in this third quarter, led by this guy, the veteran, Jexter Apinan, 10 points, 4 out of 6 from the field, 5 rebounds. Coach, what an amazing performance he has been doing it from everywhere. Yes, taking advantage of his quickness, speed, and size. No, ang hirap talaga siyang habulin, that's why nakakapag-score siya ng ganon. Score is 55-42, to 42, Batanga City Embassy Chill up by 7 points to end our third quarter. Hang in there, folks. We have the fourth quarter coming right back to you after these messages. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, MPBL na, MPBL na, yan ang liga ng bawat Pilipino, sa lusong, sa And we are back here live at the Batanga City Coliseum for the fourth quarter of the second game of this doubleheader Dito sa Ahmed Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League 2022 regular season as we hear the quarter scoring between both squads passing in Batangas Batangas now up by seven by uh, 13 points at this point 
Jun Manzo. Missing from the right wing. So it remains to be seen if Pasig can bounce back from that flat end of a third quarter. And itong Batanga City naman, can they sustain the effort and energy that they brought towards the end of that third period? And it looks like they can. Cedric Ablaza conniving with his buddy, Dexter Apinan. The score inside. Tina dissect na lang ang defense, no? Using their height, moving that ball around. Much faster talaga to move that ball around rather than trying to dribble through a defense. Carlo, Carlo Lastimosa taking that three and making it much needed basket for his team. Lead is down to 12 points. 8.46 dito sa ating fourth quarter. De La Virgen finds Olivares at the post against Lastimosa. They're looking to tire out the top gunner nitong Pasig. And they fish for a foul against the former King Blazer. Javi Pumira earlier to si Carlo Lastimosa. 3 of 14 na ngayon. 3 of 15 na ngayon para sa Pasig. 8 of 25 naman para sa Batangas. 48 rebounds to 34 favoring Batangas as well. Everything else is basically more or less the same. Turnovers lang, 16 for Batangas, yet they're up. Another turnover, 17 na para sa Batangas. But the difference here, coach, in this, in towards the end of that third quarter and here at the start of the fourth, as there is a jump ball called by our referees, is that Pasig has not been able to really capitalize on those turnovers that they have forced against Batangas City. Yes, that's so true, no? Nakaka-recover agad. Ang depensa, depensa nitong uh, Batangas. And Pasig looking to put points on the board to trim this 12-point deficit against Batangas City. Manzo to Lastimosa. De La Virgen up in his grill. Backing him up. Lastimosa. Release pass to Manzo. Shot clock winding down. And that is going to be a 24-second shot clock violation for Pasig. Forced turnover by Pasig, but a turnover committed by the White Shirts on their offensive end. So Batanga City has another chance to pad on to this 12-point lead. Great hounding defense in applying ngayon kay Lastimosa. And once he stops the dribble, a second man comes. And mukhang coach, kaya nahihirapan rin itong Pasig uh, to get anything going offensively as De La Virgen tries to get the shot offensive rebound there by Dexter Apinan. Every time Carlo Lastimosa gets the ball, they drop down to a zone. They drop down to a zone, preventing him from penetrating and just hounding him to take a tough three-pointer or make an extra pass, which happened earlier, Ma Manzo forcing that shot, which uh, time clock remaining... Mm -hmm. Opasik not really doing anything to uh, make the defense of uh, Batanga City work. Ralph Olivares against the much smaller June Manzo. Ochea sees a mismatch at the post against Lastimosa. But a hook will be called by referee Bernas at the baseline. Even from our angle, kitang kita talagang hinok niya. Kind of frustrate, you know, you see a smaller Carlo Lastimosa guarding you and you think it's easy to out-defend, uh, out-play him. How we will turn you over now to courtside to Ms. Sheila Salaysay for an update. Yes, Abby, though showing frustration during the huddle, still Coach Bob de la Cruz encouraged his men maniwala sa play na binibigay niya. Meron pa silang minutes for this fourth quarter. Huwag madaliin, may oras pa to make stops and get their runs. Balik sa inyo. Thank you, Sheila. Thank you, Sheila. Maybe. That's right. There are a lot of times still left here, Coach. An eternity of basketball, ika nga. Oo nga. At nakikita siguro ni Coach na mga players niya is not following to a T yung kanyang pinhinanda in preparation to play Batangas. Now, Coach, this is the problem I, I noticed with Pasig. Whenever they try to match itong small ball ng Batangas City, sila naman ang nahihirapan rumibound. Nahihirapan talaga sila because at saka agile talaga ang mga players nitong ano, Batangas. Here we go. Running game again. Naiwan na tatlong players. 
ng Batangas. Buti naka-recover ang Pasig on the De La Virgen against Lastimosa. He will call out a play. Apinan offering the screen. Just a tad bit too long on that pass by De La Virgen to Apinan. Maganda intention, maganda ng, uh, ng role ni Apinan. It's just that tama ka. Sobrang lakas lang ang pasa. Lucero nagmamadali dito para sa passing. He finds Lastimosa at the left corner. That shot is partially blocked by Ablaza. Milano working hard inside. Much, much needed basket for passing. 59-49 is our score. 10-point advantage. Six minutes and change remaining dito sa ating fourth quarter. Ralph Olivares trying to milk that mismatch against June Manzo. See here Jason Milano catching that attempt by Carlo Lastimosa. Drop stepping into the shaded area and laying it up and in. Ambuluto comes in for Dexter Apinan. Substitutions for Coach Cholo Villanueva. Ablaza free on the left wing. That's long. Manzo with the rebound. Ooh, out of control once again. Olivares, he will try a three. Ochea, offensive rebound, just rattles out. Batangas is taking control of every aspect of this game. Etong quarter na ito. They're getting second chance opportunities, steals, extra effort, extra hustle plays. Everybody is moving right now for Batangas. Napakagandang tignan. And coach, rebounding story, I'm looking at it right here. 53 to 36. Passing is a minus 17 on the rebounding department. And whenever you are down by this much, sa rebounding aspect ng laro, it will be very hard for you to take control of a game the way that Batanga City is. I mean, sobrang contrasting ito dun sa una nating laro where Makati Manila Kingpin was down by such also a big margin in the rebounding department but still managed to get away with the win. Napakaganda nga at napaka iba ang ipinapakitang dalawang game sa gabing ito. Contrasting styles, contrasting games, contrasting outcomes, but still great action in these both games. Uh, I'm sure all the fans are being treated to such great action dito sa Batanga City Coliseum. Batanga City, Ochea to Ambuluto. Great hook pass. Big to big connection once again for Batangas.
And we are back here at the Batangas City Coliseum in the beautiful province of Batangas where Batangas City Embassy Chill, the home team, up by 14 points against the debuting passing. Lucero trying to get his team back into the game, but another botched offensive attempt. Turnover, however, by Ochea. A chance here for Pasig. Milano to Manzo. Lastimosa gives it to Milano. Lucero is underneath, but the defense is there. Lastimosa, 3 for 3. That is short. Rudy Lingane back in the game. He has seen a lot of bench time, but hasn't really had enough reason to get back into the game because Batanga City has been doing a wonderful job of controlling this match, coach. Oh, nga, maganda rin. Jong Baloria, I guess, if he was still in here, able to play. Apinan probably... I mean, uh... Singayan probably would not enter anymore. Tama ka dun. Ang ganda ng ginawa ng teammates niya, nila, no? So, dito sa Batangas. And that's why, I guess, last few minutes na lang siya ipinasok ni Coach Cholo. Less than four minutes remaining here dito sa ating pangalawang laro here in our doubleheader dito sa Batanga City Coliseum. And June Manzo trying to cut into that lead. 14 points once again ang kalamangan itong Batanga City. But time not on the side of passing. Batanga City slowing it up, trying to play the clock as they should. I was just about to say the thing, same thing. Suddenly, bumagal ang tema ng itong, itong batanga scaling time. And at the same time, just waiting for the right opportunity, uh, right time to score. Well, previously, Coach Deba, you know, they were playing up and down. Whenever they get the defensive rebound, alam nila mabagal yung mga bigs ng basic, so they would run and they would get a lot of easy baskets. Pero ngayon, na malaki na ang kalamangan na na Punda nila, they can now slow up the pace and afford to play the clock. They can afford talaga to play that clock, no? Dahan-dahan na lang. Ngayon, papipilitan pa lalo, tumira ng tres itong uh, Pasig team. They have no other choice. So all Batangas needs to do is spread out their defense and stop that opportunity to take the three. Well, this is an opportunity that uh, they should capitalize on. Zero out of two from the line was Don Ochea. Milano trying to find Manzo. Manzo back to Milano. Milano three for three. Kabu. Coach Jason Milano has only hit seven points since the first half. Well, matagal din siyang nakaupo, no? Uh, and actually, itong Batangas clogged up the middle, preventing him from scoring. A lot of his points came from penetration. This time he has no choice but to make that three or take that three. Recycled basketball falls in the hands of John Ambuluto and he gets a basket to further the cushion that Batanga City has. 13 points on Kalamaran, 67 to 54. We're nearing the two minute mark of our fourth quarter. Lastimosa hits from the right side. Back to back three pointers para dito sa passing. Like I mentioned, nga, have no choice na. Pasig has to take those threes. But you know, Coach, we are not counting out the boys of Coach Bong de la Cruz just yet. This is just a 10-point lead. It's so much time still left on the clock. We have seen Totoo yon. things happen. Oh, sorry, Javi. Totoo yon. And he has the players who can shoot the three. And another stop here forced by Pasig. Let's see if they can capitalize. Carlos Simosa hit a three from earlier. Receives a screen from Ballesteros. That looks short upon release palang. Batangas City ends up with a rebound. Rudy Lingganay, the veteran that he is, sets up his troops. They will wind down the shot clock. Screened by Ambuluto. Ball is still with Lingganay to Ablaza. That is short. Manzo trying to get the defensive rebound, but Olivares just at the right place at the right time. 1 minute and 11 seconds left. 5 seconds on the shot clock for Batanga City. Does Ochea know it? Passing ends up with a rebound. 
Lucero in transition. He is met by a lot of blue shirts. Milano, Tumanzo, swing to the left. Lastimosa puts the ball on the floor. Spin move inside. And that Dipsy do able to get the defense off timing, draws a foul. He will shoot to the line. Coach, 51.4 seconds left. Two free throws here for Carlo Lastimosa. I like the hard foul. I like the hard foul, not allowing Carlo Lastimosa to release and make a uh, three-point opportunity. You know, napakaganda. Yan ang tamang foul. When you foul on an offensive player, make sure he doesn't get to release that ball. Hey, Coach, hard foul is different from hurting your Hurt, opponent. Yes. Totoo yun. Yun ang wag na wag nating Iba, iba talaga. Gawin. <laughs> Pag sinasabi ng coach mo na sulitin mo yung foul, hindi ibig sabihin na saktan mo yung kalaban yes. mo. Wag lang, ano, may mga iba kasi sinasayang ang foul, tapos napapatira pa yung nafoulan mo. That is something coaches hate. And uh, it looks like uh, Batangas City will end up with a victory right here. Carlos Simosa missing on both charities. Battle for possession right here. Ends up with Jexter Apinan. Blocked there by Jason Balesteros. And both players are down on the floor. It is Ambuluto in Milano who is holding on to his head. And that is not always a good sign. Jason Milano still sprawled on the floor right here. And there looks to be blood on his lips, coach. Tama ka dun. Mukhang ang may putok. Let's try to see kung magkaroon, makita natin. There was battle for... Ay, oh. yun ang kabanggaan ng ulo. Ooh. That's very unfortunate, coach, that an incident like this would happen na time winding down sa ating laro. Oh. And you know, we had John Baloria already come out with a broken nose. Ngayon naman si Jason Milano, but uh, he looks to be uh, okay. He's now on his feet. At pareho lang silang humahabol sa bola. Yeah, yun niya eh. Well, parang nobody had the intention to hurt oh. the man. 20 seconds left here. It looks like the outcome has been decided, but uh, Nobby Lucero still trying to get his team to this victory, but Batanga City will hold on in the final seconds of this match. Three, two, one, and that is it for the second game of our doubleheader. Just intense action from the first game to the second game. Batanga City ending up victorious in front of their home crowd. Di nila pinahiya ang kanilang mga fans. Oh, nga. Alam mo, exciting in a, in a different way. It's nice to see Batangas, Batangas winning here sa kanilang home court. But great effort by Pasig team playing all out as much as they could and trying to play that chess game that you kept mentioning because nga, they had to adjust itong Pasig team sa lineup na pinapasok ni Coach Cholo for Batangas. Yeah, Coach, and you know, despite the loaded lineup that uh, Batangas City had, Pasig kept in step with them throughout the whole game. In fact, holding the lead at some points of the match despite, you know, short preparation time going into this league. Right. Um, yun nga, actually have to make that adjustment as we see here, the highlights of uh, Jexter Abinan, who is the best player of the game. He really was all over the floor in this game. Slashing to the hole, hitting three-pointers, drawing fouls. And our best player of the game, Jexter Apinan, is with Miss Sheila Salaysay. Sheila? Yes, tama ka dyan. Javi, nasuklian ang efforts ng mga Batanggenyo dito sa Coliseum. Dahil hindi naging chill ang Batanga City, resulting to their second win for the season. At nabanggit mo nga si Jexter Apinan, ang best player of the game. Jexter, congratulations. Naging uh, siso battle yung uh, ano, uh, storya ng laro ninyo. Pero ano ba yung pinaka naging challenge at paano nyo nagawa na itong paraan? Uh, yun nga, uh, dumikit yung Pasig, uh, lumamang pa. Uh, yun ang sinabi lang ni Coach Cholo sa amin, uh, mag-depensa lang kami. 
uh, sundin lang namin yung uh, uh, pinapagawa niya, ayun, uh, sigurado mananalo kami. Kaya naman pwede ka nang magpasalamat na bumati sa inyong mga fans? Uh, Siyempre, una-una nagpapasalamat ako kay Lord uh, sa binigay niya sa aming lakas, uh, sa pag-guide niya sa amin na uh, hindi kami na-injury. Ganon din sa kalaban. Uh, at sa, siyempre sa lahat ng mga Batanggenyo, uh, para sa inyo itong panalo na to sa kay Kong, kay Mayor, uh, sa pamilya ko, sa asawa ko si Anjali, sa dalawang anak ko si Aidan at si JJ. Uh, yung kambal ko na kapatid, uh, happy birthday sa inyong dalawa. Uh, kay Ate Ice, uh, family Apinan, family Lapitan, uh, Regalado family. Uh, sa lahat-lahat ng mga family ng mga teammate ko at coaching staff, uh, management namin, uh, ingat kayo lahat. Thank you. Maraming salamat and congratulations our best player of the game, Jexter Apinan. Pang ilang araw pa lang natin dito sa MPBL 2022 pero napakainit ng mga labanan. Balik sa inyo, Javi and Coach JV. Thank you so much, Sheila. Thank Congrats you, Sheila. once again to Jexter Apinan and the Batangas City Embassy Chill for going 2-0 dito sa 2022 Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League regular season. 67-60 to 60 ang score. And we have games on Saturday, Coach, that we will look forward to this time at the Inares Center in Antipolo City. So, mga taga Antipolo, please troop to the venue if you are there. We have Kaloocan going up against Sambuanga in our first game. That's at 7 p.m. And in the nightcap, 9 o'clock p.m. Sarangani going against Rizal. So, catch that on Saturday, May 21, 2022. Napakagandang mga games yun, Javi. That's right, Coach JV. And uh, for my partner, Coach JV Gayoso, for Ms. Sheila Salaysay, our courtside reporter, and for all the hardworking men and women of our broadcast crew in the Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League, this has been Javi Malanya saying good night. Thank you for watching the MPBL Liga ng Bawat Pilipino. Ta-ta!